It's a beautiful clear day here in Indiana in the middle of May and during the COVID-19 lockdown we've been developing a hybrid solar oven combining it with what you see here is a rocket stove and that is detachable but we've left it on because we're going to be cooking with both types of a power one today with the sun and tomorrow is supposed to rain so we put some reflectors on this drum this drum is insulated and it is running a little over 200 degrees Fahrenheit right now and we plug the exhaust chimney there's a, a chimney that goes through this that comes from this rocket stove so we can uh, crank up the heat here during a cloudy day so we have prepared some chicken, some sweet potatoes, some vegetable, broccoli, cauliflower, and we're going to put that in and try that out today and see how the cooker works in the sun. And then tomorrow we're going to try with the rocket stove and just put some twigs and sticks in there and see what we can cook with that. We'll put this one right here, and then we have our chicken soup. And then the last thing we're going to take out is our grilled chicken. It's running to 25. I learned to put a glove on, else I burn my hands. nice so I'm gonna take the camera here and zoom in on our oh wow very soft sweet potato the chicken very nice chicken soup I guess the chicken is a main thing I was worried about and then we have that looks very nice too oh yeah look at that well done in the middle very tender and soft lots of good juices so we've got a beautiful well done well cooked meal probably would have been done easily in three hours but we left it a little bit longer to three and a half just because of time constraints we were doing something else so which is the beauty of solar cooking you're gonna just leave it in there so tomorrow we're gonna to try during the rains if it does rain to put some fire in our firebox and see how it cooks that way so thanks for watching Today it's a great day to test our hybrid solar oven. Yesterday we had a great day of cooking and uh, just cooked with the sun, had a great cookout, great turnout, great, uh, great food. Today we're going to be dealing with the weather. The solar cooker now struggles, as all solar cookers do, when there's no sunshine. And so we've had a rainy, drizzly day and the rain has stopped now but it's very cloudy and overcast and there's absolutely no sun shining and so our solar oven we have outfitted it to be a hybrid so that during a rainy day we can take and use this rocket stove that we've put on the bottom and run the chimney through the middle of the oven and so we're going to be heating it up here and then we've added on the exhaust stack a burner put a skillet up here with a hole in the middle so that will capture the last bits of heat that comes off the oven and so we're going to put a some soup on that we're going to be cooking 
this soup here today on that oven on the top part and then we're going to be cooking a big fat uh, spaghetti squash inside the oven and then this is going to be our muffins we're going to cook a cake here a muffin pan cake I'm not sure how it's going to turn out but we're going to put that over the hot part of the oven the, the oven obviously heats some parts hotter than others so right here at the very bend where it turns and goes it gets very hot here and it cools off a little bit as it goes through so we're going to experiment with that today and you can join us in this experiment of our hybrid solar oven so we got the fire going in the rocket stove using these little sticks and we come over here where the exhaust is you can hear the roar of it even so this should be a good little fire for our soup okay we'll catch this a little later after it heats up so now we've had the fire on for about 10-15 minutes I'll be going pretty good for about 10 minutes here you see just a few sticks creates a draft and just roars through that chimney there and already I'm guessing we're getting right up there close yeah close to 200 degrees there look at our look at our soup here oh yeah look at that already at a nice rolling boil in about 10-15 minutes so that becomes a really good option to follow your standard cooking procedure for those who want to cook with just uh, a pot but then at the same time they want to run an oven and be able to bake things as well so it's a great little alternative using just a few sticks here in the rocket stove well we took the cake out after 40 minutes and it started to smell a little bit burnt I'm not sure but it looks like it's done in fact I had a lid on it I made my own lid for solar cooking and it's cooked all the way through and over filled the container but we got a big fat muffin now that we got to cut up and eat but it looks good I'm gonna try a piece here don't tell anybody I touched it tastes great so we're gonna go pop this out of the pan inside in the house and then see what it looks like we just removed the squash here the spaghetti squash and it was uh, an hour and a half we moved it from the back of the oven where it wasn't quite so hot to the front and um, let's see I think it's oh yeah yeah it seems like it's supposed to be able to shred it like that so it looks really good good really nice so this has really done a good job cooking our spaghetti squash we want to we don't want it mushy we want it so we can use it later as it cools off very nice okay well so far I think we've hit a success on this a little bit of adjustments uh, to where to cook in the oven which part of the oven to put it on it's kind of like grandma's old oven you can't just stick it in there you gotta know what you're doing and where you're putting your food and what kind of foods going where so but it's a good option for a cloudy day and we've cooked very well today and we're very happy with the results so our hybrid solar cooker putting out a little smoke here normally this uh, rocket stove is a high efficiency burning stove let's see what our temperature is so we have about 225 in the back so it looks pretty good okay good enough So in conclusion for our hybrid solar oven here, we've cleaned up things a bit and uh, made our reflectors a little bit uh, more adjustable. They can be 
adjusted to about any direction we need. We put a cowling around the insulation on the chimney stack there. Put a big long hinge on here. This is not necessary, but um, it does help quite a bit. This here becomes an adjustable reflector. It can go up or down at different angles, and then when you're done, it can just fall away at the bottom. And then this side can do the same thing. And then we can adjust it here. There's various different holes. And come up, or it could go down. So there we have it. Um, still in process, but it is a good alternative to just cooking with the sun to have this backup. And it, like I said, it just takes a few sticks to keep the thing rolling. Uh, good fire going in there, and uh, get, once the heat gets up. Can be using uh, branches, small twigs, and sticks. Can be used in most countries of the world where they have a limited resource on gas or charcoal, and you can use small sticks to heat the rocket stove during a rainy day or cloudy or at night. So you can be cooking it about any time. So our hybrid oven here is. Uh, just in the process of uh, kickstarting. So we thank you for watching and uh, we hope that this will continue to develop if we can get it over to another part of the world.